How you doing everybody? This is a quick tutorial video on how to enable the back buttons on the Steam Deck to play on any game running Windows. Uh, when you originally install Windows on the Steam Deck, there's a bunch of YouTube videos online. There's also tutorials when they mention that you want to add the glossy application to enable the Steam Deck inputs as Xbox controller inputs. This will enable these controller inputs to work on any game off of the Steam launcher. So Epic Games, the Fall Guys um, game, and then Battle.net uh, launcher, you got the Call of Duty franchise. Um, this is perfect when you wanna play with uh, the controllers when you're playing Call of Duty. Uh, now, when you do that, what's gonna happen is um, after you're installing the Glossy application, the tutorial is gonna explain that you wanna use the Notepad application as like a launcher to pretty much toggle the Xbox controller inputs as the Steam Deck uh, controller. So when you do that, it'll open the notebook, uh, the notepad, but it'll also toggle on an Xbox controller. So now every game that launches on this Windows will register as Xbox controller, these buttons right here. So from there, now I can play any of these games using these inputs. Now from there, you wanna open the game and then to get the back paddles to configure in the game, what you wanna do is you wanna press and hold the Steam button for a couple seconds, let go. You'll get this menu right here. And in this menu, you wanna go down to controller configuration, select controller configuration, where you get to this window right here. In this window, what you're gonna realize that over here on these bottom corners, you're not gonna realize that it's gonna be empty. So you won't even know these are selections. So when you go over to these selections, they'll show that these are for the back buttons. So from here, you can hit A to enable an input um, right now, I'm going to go for the controller, but you can also do controller inputs. You can do the back pad buttons as keyboard or mouse inputs. And then I'm pretty sure you can bind too. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, I haven't really worked all of it. All I've been doing is just using the back buttons as controller inputs. So the I think that it's R5, R4. R4 is A, R5 is Y, and then I have uh, B and X for the other buttons in the in the back. So now, once you do that, when you go back to the game, now the back buttons will work. So this is B, this is A, this is um, X, and this is Y for countering. It's for the Batman game. You mainly wanna do this when you wanna play like FPS shooters, uh, like Call of Duty. It's great to do slide canceling. I actually got a dub on the Steam Deck running um, Warzone. But this is, this is incredible. Like my fingers doesn't even leave the sticks because of the back button option. I mean, for this game fighting, you wanna use X and Y, but it's good to have the option, especially for jump. But other games as well, like um, racing games, you know, uh, mainly shooters. I, I would say mainly shooters. Like Fear 3 is like my favorite using these back paddles in Fear 3. But yeah, so this is what this is X. But yeah, yeah, this game runs amazing on the Steam Deck. Um, I mean, you know, running Windows on the Steam Deck is pretty much like PC gaming at this point. You're gonna have problems, you know, you're gonna run into issues, but Windows has been around for such a long time as one of the main platforms for PC gaming. So you'll have a lot of tutorial videos out there to configure certain functions that you want. So I had to figure this out on my own. I, I did look around, but this was like, me just playing around with uh, glossy applications um, overlay for controller configuration. But um, yeah, and also I would also recommend for all you users to enable touch gestures. And I think you just search um, touch gestures. I think it's like touch gestures. Yeah, turn on and off touch gestures. And then from there, what you can do is like anytime a game freezes or like st starts stuttering or something, you can minimize it by using three fingers. And then from there, I would also recommend you add the task manager on your taskbar. And then over there, go to the options section. And on the options, you're gonna have an option to always put on top. So this is anytime when you're like launching a game and it's like frozen and you can, you can drop it but then when you hit the task manager, it'll go on top. So then you can like end the task. Right there, that's a, a trifecta for you guys, a tutorial. Three different things you guys wanna do when you have the Steam Deck and you wanna run the games exactly the way you want and use all the inputs. 
that's the steam deck offers but um yeah hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and my channel will have more videos on the steam deck and just how to function wise videos you know just me just enjoying the device and just pushing its limits really all right bye